Welcome back to Hot Water Wrestling, everybody. And as you see behind me, we got the Christmas tree up. Uh, reason for that is uh, I'm expecting a child, my second child. And uh, we didn't think we'd have time to put the tree up. Uh, if any of you guys have kids, you'll know that it's a lot of work, especially right in the beginning. So we wanted to get that out of the way. So that's why we have it up freakishly early. So it's right about that time. I suggest you go out there and uh, start Christmas shopping. Anyways, enough uh, domestic banter. Let's get on to my DVD update. I um, just want to show you some things. Uh, I don't think I've ever showed you guys this. I might have. Shit, I don't know. Um, but I did pick up SummerSlam on Blu-ray. And I, and I enjoyed this event. Um, a lot of people, I guess, kind of said they didn't like it very much, but I think I actually did review this, but just in case, uh, well, not review, but show this, but just in case I wanted to show it. Um, I know I haven't showed this. I got the uh, Best of SmackDown. And, uh, yeah, I did like this better than the, uh, the Raw. Um, mainly, you know, I mean, because it, it, it came in Blu-ray, it, it, it's kind of... Uh, Odd having some of these things in Blu-ray and some of these things in uh, standard definition when it's the same year. Um, you know what we're all headed for, right? You realize they're going to release most everything on Blu-ray here in the next few years, I would imagine. Um, and then I got a UFC product, actually, um, The Ultimate Submissions. And uh, the thing I like about this is that it's got some really old matches on it and then some new matches. It really kind of goes through all the years of uh, UFC. I, I used to watch UFC way back in the day, like UFC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 and those. Um, so it would be neat to kind of go back. I know there's a Gracie match on here. Um, Gracie versus Ken Shamrock, I see, is, 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 is on here. So... Uh, I guess we blocked by uh, Brock Lesnar. Got his ass beat so bad uh, the other night. Jeez. Whew. I think he'll be back, though. I think he'll recapture the title. Um, anyway, so that's the ultimate submissions. And then I, I, I got this. Most of you guys probably won't believe I don't have this, but I never had this. I, it's, I, hear, I hear it's a great uh, DVD, um, and I just never bothered picking it up. Not for any reason. Just... Never got around to it. I had had it on my Christmas list a few times, and no one ever came through for me, so I just never got it. But it is, yeah, Viva La Raza, the Eddie Guerrero story. The legacy of Eddie Guerrero. Excuse me. Of course, this is a three-disc set. And I popped a little bit of it on. I haven't uh, really got to watch all that much of it. Um, but I noticed that as far as I can tell, that it's talking, you know, it's documentary, then a match, and documentary, then a match, and documentary, then a match. I, I prefer it when they put a solid documentary uh, together, kind of like the Chris Jericho DVD and many others. Um, so you can sit down and watch the doc on the wrestler and then uh, sit down and watch the matches. But whatever, it's still fine. No big deal. So that's my little DVD update, and I just want to say one more thing. Um, to all my subscribers, uh, I just want to guys let you know, do not panic about this Hell in a Cell thing. Um, all these Blu-rays that come out at Best Buy, they just have a two or three month exclusive on them. Um, I've already checked uh, with Amazon and you can pre-order Hell in a Cell right now. It won't be out until February. Um, the same thing is going to happen with Bragging Rights. Bragging Rights is going to hit shelves uh, at Best Buy probably in a week or so. Um, so, you know, don't panic if you don't get it and gosh, do not go on eBay and pay $40 for it. Okay. So I, I just, I just want to let everybody know, um, don't worry about that. And you shouldn't really be collecting DVDs, uh, to be worth money because so few of them are, and even when they are worth money, they're really not worth that much money. You know, I was actually thinking about doing a little video on that, um, money versus memories because you know if you were to dump all your dvds you know i mean if you need the money by god do it you know if you know you're in a situation where you need the cash but if you're going to dump all your dvds uh one day you're probably going to want to buy them all back just uh ask ask billy paz actually 
I think, uh, and no disrespect to him at all, I love Billy Paz, and he knows I love him. Um, but he, he, he sold a lot of his DVDs, and he has recently gone back and bought them because they're great memories. And, and you know, we all go through phases where we watch stuff and don't watch stuff. You're going to want to come back. You know, sometimes I look at all my DVDs, and I think, like, hmm. Oh. I sell some of these, uh, you know, especially some of these TNA ones, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, it's not worth it because if it, you know, the mood ever strikes me to come back and watch this stuff, it's not going to be here. And then I got to go track it down, and by God, I will. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. Sorry, I haven't done a lot of updates recently. Uh, you know the routine. Just been really, really busy. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to get some time over the holidays. I'm sure I will. Um... I live here in South Florida, but I am not going to be going to Survivor Series, I don't think. Um, but I'm having a kid, so what are you going to do? All right, guys, we'll see you next time on Hot Water Wrestling.